Welcome back to another video. Uh, today we got a building uh, the rack or shelf part two. So we'll be assembling the rack with the Thado joints and screwing everything up. The casters and everything. Don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe, hit the bell. And let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, uh, most of this uh, material is repurposed material. It was material that I was given to me or that was on the trash not on the trash but you know on the scrap pile and that's how it was uh, given to me so as you can see I'm not a professional uh, woodworker I'm just a beginner and this this is nothing pretty this is just gonna function uh, pretty much just like a rack and just need it for my uh, my stuff in my uh, garage just to help me with, uh, I just needed something real quick to organize. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. As we can see, I'm putting the casters in there. I'm marking the, the holes. So all the, the four holes have to be marked before I uh, start drilling. And now I'm starting to drill the, the holes. I usually pick a smaller bit um, smaller than the screw or the logs that I'm gonna be using yeah so I you know if you pick a smaller one it's usually you get a better a tight fit on that on those stronger joint on the with the logs and the the screws I did um, show here that I'm using screws I actually went to the store and bought me some lo uh, logs as you can see on the picture. Uh, I found out the hard way. <laughs> had a, I was um, pretty much, I did a lot of research and found out that uh, these, these casters and this, this rack needed heavier duty uh, uh, logs. So I went ahead and uh, replaced all of them with uh, heavy duty logs for the weight purpose as you can see I'm clamping all the, the frames from the from the different levels so you have to drill and uh, screw well I did drill and screw all the frames together I stacked them up I started on the floor you know because the floor straight and clamp it everything up so it wouldn't move and everything would be straight and uh, Basically, I did all three of the the levels, the the basis of the label levels. I stacked them up on top of each other, so I could get the same measurement. As you can see, I'm screwing it in. I did use about three and a half um, wood screws. So right there, I'm doing the other side. It, the the frame is still clamped. And uh, yeah, I'm drilling the the pilot holes for the other side of the screws. I was tempted to uh, glue this together with glue, but um, I didn't know if I was going to make any changes or if I was going to take it apart again. Maybe cut it and you know cut it shorter or make it longer or whatnot. So I just decided to go with screws. If I wanted to take it apart later, I can pretty much take it apart later, you know. But yeah, like I said, I'm just a beginner. I'm learning as I go. And as you can see right there, I'm putting the joints in. Uh, that's the dado joint. I'm just hammering it, uh, make sure it's tight. And as you can see, the 4x4 that's on the bottom, it's pretty much repurposed wood. I actually had to repair that part because it has a big crack there. So I had to put uh, glue um, and clamp it together. As you can see, it's not the prettiest. And right there, I'm just drilling the holes for the, for the screws to make that joint stronger. I did uh, three screws per joint. On some of them, I went four. But um, on these, I went three. As you can see, I'm not a, a perfect uh, woodworker there. It slid off. 
And that is the frame, how I was assembling it. I was assembling it on the floor. It's the easiest way. Once you're done with those two, uh, with the back ends, you can flip it over and do it with the other ends. Uh, I will be making some more changes, doing some sanding. I don't know, if, probably not going to paint it because I like the wood, the wood uh, texture to it. I, I'm probably going to just sand all the imperfections. Uh, that is uh, that is it for today. Don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe, hit the bell. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.